Okay, we're at the local junkyard here. Notice this uh, Dodge Charger. Uh, seen some really cool stuff on this. I'm not real familiar with the Dodges or the Chargers, but we're going to do a walk around on this. Check it out. So, get the front end here. Uh, looks like it may have uh, hideaway headlights because I'm seeing a grill behind here. This car is definitely, the structure is gone. Been sitting, we'll get to the inspection sticker if it has one. But that definitely appears to be the original engine. Uh, looks like a two barrel. Get in closer on that carburetor. So, but it has the original air cleaner, distributor. Radiators in it, alternator. Come around to the other side here. Now here's what really surprised me when I saw this. Got the original battery in this car. So it couldn't have been on the road very long. Uh, we got a data tag here we'll take a look at. Don't know how to decipher that so you could pause that. Decipher it for yourself if you'd like. Uh, appears to be drum brakes. Try to get a peek behind the wheel here can see the structure is definitely completely gone so I'm assuming this would be one of the original hubcaps on this side and this tire could even possibly be the original tire uh, we got the the date code there I'm thinking that's even the original tire on this car, but who knows. Alright, so, can only get a little bit of this side. The year is not on that inspection sticker, but I would feel safe to say that's in the 75 era. Close to. This is a bucket seat car, probably all of them were. Rear seat is bucket also. Let's see if this side opens up now. Looks like it's locked. Okay, so we got a sport type steering wheel, possibly. The console. The bucket seats definitely appear to be intact. All the glass is on this car. That's really cool to have the, the console in the back. So what we can see of this side, door has been changed. Looks like there may have been a lot of paintwork halfway down the quarter panel. real unique back window uh, it's probably a hard one to find some of that trim is missing and we'll make our way back to the trunk here Got what might actually be a straight bumper thrown in the back tail panels there Super excessively rusted trunk lid. No original decals remaining. Some some vents to come out the back here. And again, got to be the original spare. It is a belted performance. High performance. It says Dynaco here. OK, 
come around this side here. So, probably some hard to find trim on here, miscellaneous parts. I'm sure somebody has one of these cars, sees a lot on here they can probably use. Let's see if this door opens. Nope. Looks like the skin would rip off of the door before it would open. So I'm not going to force the issue. So, there's this car here. Really neat mid-60s charger at the junkyard. Thanks for watching.